Hey everybody, this is Dave, and uh, check this baby out. This is the second incarnation of my Rubicon Models uh, bolt action 28 millimeter 156 scale Panzer IV. Now the first one was a Panzer IV F in dark gray. Now, now we've got the Panzer IV G in well psychedelic camo. And that's tricolor, uh, actually kind of quad color and there's the back. I, I have to do like detail work still. I just wanted to get some shots to see what it looked like. And I kind of like the way it's coming out. And I do, I ran out of flat coat, so basically uh, I used the last of my flat coat on this model. That's irrelevant. I don't know why I even brought it up. I don't know. I'm just blabbing. They're Panzer four. I should have some like German music going in the background or something. And uh, there's your good bulky action size. This camo actually took a really, 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 really long time to do. And um, I'm going to do, unfortunately, I'm going to paint over this too and make make a, an H model and upload that just to get all the incarnations you can make out of a Rubicon model. So I, I'm not affiliated with Rubicon models, by the way, and I'm not like promoting them or anything. This was a little bit less expensive than the Warlord Games model, so that's why it's that's why you're getting pictures of a Rubicon model, because it was a few dollars less expensive. Um, I think the next bolt action tank I get to build is going to be a Warlord Games resin cast. I want to try those. The idea was I wanted to put together, I don't want to, I wanted to slap a few parts together and then spend all my time painting it. Well, I, this is more of a model than a gaming miniature in that respect, i.e. you had quite a few parts had to all be put on. Um, the plastic is really hard, so you have to use super glue. It's that kind of plastic the regular model glue doesn't bond to. Had the same problem with the Mushashi. It's that kind of plastic, but it's heavy. It's got a nice heft. It almost feels like a die cast, so moving it around on the game board would be kind of nice because it's got some heft to it. Um, anyway, what do you guys think of that camo job? I know you, I know nobody was impressed with the dark gray Panzer and, and my homemade flag, but uh, here you go. Here's something a little more wild for you. Let me know.